Western Canada, Calgary, home of the 1989 Stanley Cup winning Flames, and every year, the world famous Rodeo. Hi everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Mike Emery. There is one game left in this series. It is winner take all. They say there's no tomorrow. Well, there is. But for one team, there's a tomorrow without hockey, and that's not good. What would your thought be? It's about today, Doc. Just like these fans going absolutely crazy in behind us, it's all about the opportunity that presents itself in an elimination game. You win, you move on. Okay, so let's look at the starting goaltenders for the game. Game sevens are the thing of magic. Not a whole lot needs to be said by the coaches, by the players, or us. So let's just see here. Let's just see. Game sevens in the playoffs are the things of dreams. If he wants to keep the dream alive for himself and his team, he needs to be at his best. The referee has checked. The goal lights work. Let's see if anybody can light them. Monahan's ready for the opening faceoff for Calgary. McKinnon's opposite him for Colorado. Ripped along to Girard. Perfect receipt of the pass. Got in front of another one. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Funch now from Ray Ferraro. You better get rid of your nerves early because there's no second chances. It's all on the line tonight. Thanks very much, Ray. Calgary's taken that neutral zone faceoff. Didn't go very well there. Who comes up with it? A collision. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. Twist one. The shot is off. That was a dangerous chance, but unfortunately, we don't use soccer nets in hockey. Couldn't retain possession. Up the boards with it now. Possession in the zone. They've got all the gunners out. To McKinnon. Can't find a lane. Whips it pass. Poked away. Makes the stop and holds. Good whistle. A little over three minutes have gone by. We are deadlocked at zero. The Avs prevail again. Receives that pass from the other side. Chip to Kerfoot. Flings it. At least he protected his goaltender. Skill play by Hammonick. Pitching it to Kachuk. Collected by Bennett. To Cole. Passing one off now to Barry. Looking to Kerfoot. Nice work with that stick. Knocked it away. Save there. That shot came from just six inches. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. The Flames guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. Well, what he was trying to do is try to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. The Avs have practiced the power play feverishly this week. Let's see if it pays off. Well, the numbers show if you get the first goal, you have a way better chance to win than if you're chasing the game. A power play, what a great chance here to get on the board first. Stays in the zone. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. A one-timer. The lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Cleared it out of there. Pass attempt to Girard. Has that point pass as well. Backhander to the net. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Calgary's killed it off, and we're back even. Big shot from the point. That puck's loose, defended away by Brody. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Big takeaway. It's dumped in. Looks ahead to start something. And he dumps it in. To Kachuk. Terrific poke check. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. 
Gathered up by Backlund. Trying to go to Bennett. Steps in from the neutral zone. Got it at the point. A rocket! That puck hit him on the way to the net. And they've got it again. Puck is thrown to Valimaki. Colorado's in their own end, hoping to make a play to center. And it's driven back so they can make a change. The Flames lug that along in the defensive zone. A shot. Slid to Andrigetto. Colorado's carrying it up the wing. Pitching this one to Landeskog. Holds in the corner. Save. Not a free puck now. Steps across that line. Look out, the hits are coming. Landeskog's often been talked about as a 200-foot player. That means using your body, but just trying to get yourself around the ice with your skill. Calgary's driving upwards. What a tremendous hit. I really like the effort that he's trying there to generate a turnover by finishing his check. Puck dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Snapping a pass to Monaghan. And it's a good pickup. Moving it to Soderbergh. Great defensive poke. The Avs are driving it from the wing. It's dumped in. Trying to clear it here. Tried to clear, but failed. Thinking attack here. Good defensive read with that one. Cut that pass in his own end. Is able to move on in. A shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. A timely save. That is tremendously tremendous. The Avs win it. Bounces it ahead to Wilson. Propelled to Kerfoot. Blocked away. Great moves in the zone. Didn't handle it very well. Free puck. Right to the point. He turned it. Robbery there. Looks to make a play. Skates out with it. Elevates a pass to Neal. Terrific shot in close. Great save at the edge of the crease. He throws that just for a break. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Calgary's quick on the draw. Couldn't get his way through. And now it's directed to Bohr. The clock bleeds down to the last minute. That puck struck him in front. Puck ends up out of the zone, so they must recoil. Directing that one to Valimaki. Takes that pass at center, see if we can move something. Right near the line, can he keep it going? Scooped up by Backlund. In that defensive zone, an important play. Period one has been completed here. The coaches have to be satisfied with the defensive work and the goaltending, but there is a challenge ahead for these offenses. Let's check out the shots on goal, and one gets an exclamation point. Listen to this. Nine for Colorado and two 
move for the Flames. Take a look at our scoreboard as we acknowledge tonight's special groups in attendance. Smith's terrific save has kept his team in this game. Intermission is coming up. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What impressed you most? Nobody's been able to put the puck past the goaltenders, Doc, but I think one thing they need to improve on is getting more people to the front of the net. Make life a little bit more difficult for the goalies. Let's it go. Shooter tempted to stare at the ceiling on that one. What a glove grab. From the faceoff, and they lock up, and a good reach. That's help from the wing. Turn the shot on net. Wonderful stop. <laughs> Defensive zone win. The Flames skated up on the side. Attack zone possession here. Loose puck blocked off by Landeskog. Took that away in his own zone. Sends to the point. A howitzer. Save. Oh, that was something. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Calgary's looking to head man up the wing. Got that pass in his own end. On to Wilson. Laid on to Giordano. Pitching it to Bennett. Cuts that pass off. Perfect wrister. A good stick stop. And in flight over the line. And he picks it up. Passing one off now to Kerfoot. The abs up the wing, lug the puck. Nicely received at the point. Chip to Backlund. Slid to Bennett. Propelled to Hannafin. Let's it go. Add it away with authority. And the referee's whistle has stopped playing. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. A little over five minutes played here in the second. Still nothing on the score sheet yet. Good face-off win. Nice pass ahead to Froley. Free puck off a defender. That roadblock was set up. Crosses that line. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. On to Zadarov. Karam pass to Soderberg. Terrific interception. And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Good offensive zone win. Gets that one on a cross. Shoots one. That went off the pad. The Flames have it up the wing. Heaves one. Terrific diving block. Shoots one. Wonderful save on a terrific scoring chance. Calgary's along the wing at center ice. And he dumps it in. Makes that play deep. Looking to Landeskog. And he steps across the line. Swept aside. Holds on and gets that whistle. Guys, we've seen several examples of this where they've had to scramble back into position, yet courageously get down to block the shot.
Solid win of the draw. Let's it go. Great save. Calgary is winging it at neutral ice. To McKinnon. Pass attempt to Bork. Cut that off between the blue lines. Got that pass in his own end. He hangs on and gets the whistle. The Flames need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a stake. They won that face off, trying to generate something. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. Driving in from no man's land. The net is off its pegs. It has to be replaced. Play is stopped. Now the only question here is going to be where they're going to put the face off. Will it be inside the zone or outside the zone? That'll depend on what the officials determined was the reason the net came off the boards. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Loose puck, the defense was in the way. Strong play there by Neal. And freezes play for the whistle. Got another win. Things are heating up with that hit. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. That puck is over the glass, and play is stopped. Cole's still feeling the effects of that huge hit. He's got to learn you cannot play with your head down at this level. Calgary's come up big on another faceoff. Trying to go to Cole. Puck is thrown to Barry. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Let's it go. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. The Flames are at the wing in neutral ice. He's through. Good, solid defense there. Laid on. He scores! We were wondering if we'd ever see it. One to nothing. Now that the scoring's been opened up, we'll see if the opponent can punch their way back into this game. You can't be back on your heels too long. Calgary's gotten a one-goal lead and lots of time left in the game. We're still in period number two. The Flames win the draw. What's next? Calgary's working ahead from mid-ice at the board. Intercepted that one in an important place. Stone's shaking his head after making that pass. He knows better than that. That puck cannot go into that section of the ends. Over five minutes remaining in the period. It's a 1-0 game. Calgary's got it. Man, oh man, what a hit. Oh, he got hit so hard, it looks like his shoulders touched each other. That one's going to leave a mark. That's a free puck thanks to the play by Stone. Tripped up on the play, and there will be a penalty. The Flames have been handed a minor penalty for tripping. Oh, this is clearly a tripping call. He made no attempt to play the puck and took the legs out from the attacking player. Colorado's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. 
They've been on the power play before. It's not been very effective, but they get another one handed to them here. Time of the penalty, 15 minutes, 57 seconds. That one's out of play into the bench here. And the face-offs won. Wasn't intentional. Didn't go well. Loose puck. Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. Now that's a timely save. A beautiful one. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. The Avs win it. Back to the point. Can he generate something from there? The Flames with a neutral zone possession along the wing. And Ricketto's got it in the defensive zone headed to center. Pitching this one to Landeskog. The Avs power play let him down at a very important time. Gives it on a cross from the point. Bounced off the boards to Landeskog. Oh, broke it up! To Brody. In the second period. The drama heightens in this final minute of the second period. Long lead pass to Monaghan. Terrific love save! Calgary's offense has run through his hands for most of the last little while. His point streak continues. He has been a force both at five on five and on the power play over the last few games. Clean win on the draw. Colorado's in possession as they travel up the wing. Not able to do that well. Forty minutes have been played. Some hits given, some shots fired. But let's see what they have in mind as we get closer to the start of the third period and crunch time. Let's check out the shots on goal through these two periods. 18 for Colorado and six for Calgary. Limited edition team bricks are available tonight at your team store. Backlund's goal has put his team ahead for at least now. Will it stand up? We go to break. period about to begin the rear view mirror will help us with the first two and so will Edza. Colorado's coaching staff doc has to be pretty pleased the way they played through the first 40 minutes of play. One area of concern has been their offense. They need to take advantage of all the time of possession and finally put the puck into the back of the net. Whoa what a play. Chip to Lindholm. Slid to Goudreau. That one is pointed to him. Slot shot. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Feeds the point. Many yards gained to McKinnon. Calgary setting things up in their own end. Good takeaway by Gabriel Landeskog. That puck flopped over the glass and landed in one of the rows near the glass, and a fan from Pomble, Pennsylvania, has come up with a souvenir. A shooter might want to check his stick. If that's all that he's got in the arsenal, it's not going to score very often.
The Flames control from the neutral zone. Propel to Jost. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. Calgary's got two on this one for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carrier here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. This power play is too predictable. They have to find a way to change it up. Absolutely. I think you're right, Eddie. Let's see what the team does here. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry. You get the puck to the point. You shoot it. You move the penalty killers around. Let's see if they can do it this time. And this one is feathered back away by Hammond. He's got that pass at the point. Lifts one. Outstanding point blank save. Fantastic setup and equally great stop by the goaltender. Well, it looks like the shooter's just trying to get this puck on net. Routine stop for the goaltender, not much challenge. A little under four minutes play. Calgary's up in this game, 1-0. A good tie-up on the faceoff. That led to his team getting the puck. Colorado seeing the penalty clock bleeding down to the last few seconds. The Avs' power play has ended. What a great chance to tie the game. Snapping a pass to Monaghan. Carried through center ice. Leads that charge into the zone. Dogged determination there by Barry. Moving it to Landeskog. Wow, what a hit. What a meet. We had a sense this was going to happen. So here they go. This fight all started because of the hit right before. It's over with one big punch. How did you score that one? Dead even, Doc. Those are the type of fights that you really enjoy. More times than not, you drop your gloves like that, you're going to spend at least five minutes in the box. The Flames are getting their first power play crack of the game. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. Have a positive power. Colorado's lugging it along in neutral ice. He lifts the stick and swipes it. Nice job. On to Neal. Now it's directed to Bennett. Drill. I saw that play coming from a mile away. Laid on to Stone. And decides to just cover it up and get the whistle. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Critical win of the draw. Got it all. The Avs have us back even after that penalty kill. Calgary's got it again. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Pitch straight ahead through center. He's in on an onside play. Got his pad on that one. Very important steal for him. A great speed bump set up there. He just flat out missed it. Directing that one to Kerfoot. Johnny Goudreau, that Hobie Baker award winner out of Boston College, gets the puck. 
swept on to Brody. Important interception there. Tries to get it on net. Oh, stick save. And still another save. What a show. Down to ringside we go yet again. Ray, what you thinking? Smith's been a major factor in the way this game has played out. He was exceptional, in particular early in the game as his team struggled. Look how fortunate his team is that he's played like this. No, you're right, Ray. Eddie and I agree. It's just another one in a long line of tremendous performances by him. Calgary has got a defensive zone win. A wonderful grab of a great long pass. Chip to Brody. Hangs on to it in the corner. Take it away. Gains the blue line. Slid to Zadarov. A big one-timer. Not there. Pitching it to Froli. Pulled it right back. Brings a shot. Oh, that was close. That's a great scoring chance, but he just missed. He'll be looking to get the next one. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. That was a good challenge. Better stop. Colorado's moving it up the wing. Passes to the slot. A whistle and a rest. Barlamov's made a number of good saves, but when you're trailing, you need a grade A save to hold you in. He's just given them that. Just under six minutes left to go in the third. The Flames lead 1-0. Calgary's got a face-off win. The Flames have it along the side at mid ice That one comes back out over the blue line. And the coach pacing the bench is pacing a little faster now, and he seems to be talking to the ceiling. The Avs possess the play in no man's land. Defensive Tim with the stick. The battling continues along the board. Passing one off now to Bennett. In with it now. Gathered up again by Backlund. Shoots one. At least he protected his goaltender. Loose puck knocked away by Bennett. Colorado's continuing on up the wing. Let's it go. Great save. Puck covered. Whistle blown. Johnson's strength and power really shows the force of this hit. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. He's got it. Looking to Calvin. Landeskog's not very happy as he exits the penalty box after that fight earlier. We'll see if they turn around and drop the mitts again. Out of all that, it's kicked further. It'll come free, but not without a lot of work. Calgary's along the wing at center ice. And there's a delayed penalty call. Great job in his own end with that interception. When you have a lead, you want to make sure plays. They've done that most of the night. This is not the time to try a hope play. No, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Flames' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. After an ineffective power play earlier in the game, let's see if they can get a little more organized with the puck into the zone and get it on net far more frequently. Lose, but he found it. A much-needed whistle after great presence of mind of the goaltender to find that loose puck. Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. Coming up is the largest play in this game so far. The largest play. It's a draw. He keeps winning draws, and his team gets possession. And they're winning the game. I wonder if there's a connection there. 
That move not too slick there. Why? Colorado's in possession as they travel in the defensive zone. Puck loose, couldn't get through. The Avs go for broke. Their goalie is pulled. And we have offside call here. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Solid win at center ice. Now what? Pass attempt to Monaghan. To the point it comes. Propelled to Kachuk. Can he clear the zone? And that one is cleared, and so the power play guys are going to have to drop back. Final seconds of the game with the fans standing. They know they're going to get more games because their team has won Stanley Cup final round one. The tournament rolled on, energized play ended only by a final horn. Good night from all of us.